Welcome back to the Convo Couch, ladies and gentlemen, here on a new platform for the first time. We are on our Twitter. We are on Periscope. We are on Twitch. Oh, there's like the kids like to call Twizitch. I don't know if the kids call it that. <laughs> That's Johnny Tsunami's voice on the ones and twos. Show your beautiful face, my man. Where's he at? He's here somewhere. There he is, man. So what happens, Johnny? When they knock you down, what do you got to do? <laughs> you got to get back up, you got to get on the horse, and you got to do what you got to do. So tonight we'll be streaming the debates live again, and hopefully these fascist bastards won't catch up to us. We'll be on Twitch, we'll be on Twitter, that's a Combo Couch. It's very easy to find us on both of those networks, on both of those platforms, The Combo Couch. See the cup right there? As long as you can see through it. Um, and of course, we don't know where we're going to be yet, maybe on Facebook, we haven't figured it out, right? They're going to shut us down. They shut us down. Yeah. yeah, we're going to give it a shot again to see what's going on. But maybe on Twitch and maybe Periscope and maybe Twitter, we won't be shut down. So you can join us there tonight. Uh, thank you for joining on in. So let's get to a little warm-up debate because pretty soon fam's got to get out here. And we got to get our mind ready for the second debate. It's the big one tonight. Yeah. Yes, they did. Without any specifics, too. Let's be honest. We've tried to contact them over the several past months. Oh, sorry. Talk I don't about, think anyone could have heard me. Uh, my mic was muted. Okay, but all right, what Johnny said was that pretty make sure, go to our YouTube. We're still putting up our videos over there. We still have our Epstein stuff. We just dropped another video today. We still have families going to be put up this awesome anti-BDS and this bill resolution video that she made. I, you, I, you have to watch this. You know, when fam spews that stuff, you got to listen. Uh, and we'll still be on YouTube doing our stuff, but right now they've taken away our live stream capability without being specific, without real warnings. They've given us copyright claims, which we've debated. We haven't heard anything back. So we're in a little tussle with them, and it uh, might even get hairier because what they did last night, I think, was just a fascist uh, way of handling things. It's the fascism on the left. It's the censorship we talk about. Uh, they got it both on the left and the right. You're just not the only ones owning fascism. But this whole establishment, sorry for slamming my phone, Johnny. I know you're going to probably say that. Oh, you're good. This whole establishment is just ridiculous, but they're not going to put us down. You get knocked down. What do you do, Johnny? Say it loud. You get back up. You get back up. So, Johnny, what are we going to break into before we uh, do the debate tonight? What do you got for us? All right. So the other day uh, on Monday, July 29th, mm -hmm. we interviewed Michael Santucci, an attorney at law from Florida, and he's a federal and Florida attorney at law. Uh, you can see that interview on our YouTube. Uh, we live streamed it. We haven't chopped it up yet. But um, there were some things revealed during that interview. And uh, he he made a, a keynote about seven minutes into the interview uh, that a property in New York was being... Um, the property, the big one. The property. I think it was estimated or it's estimated or zillowed yeah. at seventy seven million. Uh something like that. It's one of the most expensive a property that yeah. they want to uh seize. Know, seize. So it's a forfeiture allegations. And uh, my, uh Michael Santucci thankfully uh provided these documents to us and here's what we'll see here. Um these forfeiture allegations. So this is the full indictment paper from uh epstein's case united states of america versus jeffrey epstein yep defendant uh if you haven't heard about epstein if we have new viewers um <laughs> i don't know what what how summarize jeffrey epstein to our new viewers <laughs> um if you don't know now you know uh jeffrey epstein this stuff's been going on for a long time uh is suspected is suspected of running a pedophilia ring using 14 15 year old broken girls uh, mainly taken from the West Palm Beach area, New York, New Mexico. Uh, nobody is quite sure how Epstein has made his money. Uh, there's no trails to it, and it's pretty much a mystery. There have been uh, links with, even within the mainstream media that have connected uh, Jeffrey Epstein to some form of intelligence, whether it be through the CIA or Mossad, uh, his girlfriend Ghislaine. Mossad uh, is Israeli intelligence. Yeah, Mossad is Israeli intelligence. Ghislaine, his girlfriend, who is also Robert Maxwell's daughter, uh, Robert Maxwell was suspected years ago having very cl close ties to intelligence, the Russian government, and Mossad. 
so it's this really crazy, like, uh, fictional book come to life. Uh, and um, a lot of it's suspected. A lot of the warrants and a lot of the indictments take place in part with this one uh, plane called the Lolita Express. And very wealthy men, very powerful men, uh, very mainstream in the public eye men, even former politicians. Former presidents. Former presidents have been suspected of being on that plane. Uh, and we're just waiting for indictments to come down and Bill the whole Clinton. shit to collapse underneath us. And it's very important. Bill but will it collapse Clinton. or will they sweep it under the rug? Will they blame it on one guy? Those of us who have been following this story, we understand it's a network. So now we're connecting the dots. And then we have this situation where this house has been in the indictment has been mentioned. So we suspect, right, because of the indictment, right, Johnny, that some sexual activities have taken place at that house, correct? Correct. So um, so the indictment, it was, uh, how did Santucci uh, explain it? They, he was trying to, um, Epstein was trying to like- Seal the indictment. Seal it. Yeah. But it, it became public record. Yes. And so now everyone has access to it. So we can see here, um, hold on, right here. Okay, so he he got hit with two counts. The first count is sex. What is it? Sex trafficking conspiracy. Yeah. But count two is sex trafficking. Yeah. Um. Well, because it's the sex the sex trafficking at his at his place in New York is what they can really hang him for. The conspiracy is another charge because it goes outside of what happened within that place. So count one kind of brings other people into it. Yes. Okay. Yeah, the count one's much broader. Count two is pretty much specifically him, yes. I think. Uh, okay, so here's what I want to read. Go ahead. Um, the forfeiture allegations. As a result of committing the offense alleged in count two of this indictment, so as a result of committing sex trafficking, mm -hmm. Jeffrey Epstein, the defendant, mm -hmm. shall forfeit to the United States pursuant to the title... Um, Real and personal that was used or intended to be used to commit or facilitate the commission of the offense alleged in count two. So he shall forfeit anything intended or to facilitate um, the sex trafficking that he did. Uh, so basically any property, real or personal, uh, and derived from any proceeds obtained directly or indirectly as a result of defense in count two. Yes. The lot or parcel of land Here's where it gets together hairy. with its uh, buildings located at 9 East 71st Street, New York, New York, owned by Maple Inc. Owned by who? Maple Inc. What? Who is Maple Inc.? That's the question right now. Right? Because we haven't heard right about this now, company. Right now, it's alleged that this property that they own yes. was used for sex trafficking. Yes. In Manhattan, this and it's huge. owned by a company called Maple Inc. So, yes, we did our research. We did. Even one of our colleagues on our sister station kind of went down the rabbit hole and went to the website for yeah. this company. Let me find Maple this guy's Inc. name who helped us as well. Yes, our boy. And that's the thing we haven't asked questions about this company. Why is this question? Why is this company gone unscathed, unlooked? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It's it's questions. So go ahead, Johnny. I'm so sorry. Uh, uh, yeah, our, our, we had someone email us. His name is uh, Citizen for no, no Wars. Citizen for No Wars. Citizen for No he Wars. Helps, and he said to me, Johnny, he wants to be named Citizen for No More Wars, right? Yep, that's right. That's our dude. That's so his alias. You saw the indictment papers. You saw what it said. Okay, who's Maple Inc.? All right. You do a, a quick... You do a quick Google search and you find Maple Inc.'s uh, website. Now, mm -hmm. here it is, Maple Inc. It's the website is meoverseas.com. That is so creepy, right? <laughs> Me overseas. Okay, you click on the site. <coughs> There's still a working uh, company. Um, take a look at this site. Study abroad. Study abroad. Visa assistance, scholarships. Yes. And Nico has did a great video on this one, too. He kind of went in there. He still, checked the spellings still, and the accuracies. Still, so, yep. so what do we do then? And we encourage people, go ahead and look at this. But Johnny got a little bit more deeper. He got a little bit further off the reservation. So, well, let's go check out their Facebook. Well, right? I was like, I was like, 
we should check we should check their Facebook. Like if they have a website, I wonder if they have any Fa- social media. Exactly. They have Facebook, they have Instagram, they have everything. They have a Twitter that has five five tweets. Yep. Interesting what they're tweeting. Five there. tweets from But a big here's company. their Facebook. Um right here, Maple Inc. All you have to do is Google uh, search up Maple Inc. on there. You'll find them. The Boom. big red leaf. Boom. Immigration study abroad. Canada, Australia, New Zealand, USA, Germany, UK, Ireland, Europe, and Singapore. Singapore. Now, wow. This. See, that. here's the thing. We think the site looks very Fugazi-ish, right? That's the word we use over here for you in your Twitch land and for your uh, Twitter land. I, I'll use the term Fugazi, which is an old Italian Brooklyn word for fake. He's a Fugazi. That watch, it ain't a real Rolex. It's a Fugazi. This website we're going to, it doesn't look real. It looks a little Fugazi-ish. Um, so Johnny's going to dive in and show you what's really suspectful, sus- what's uh, suspicious about this website, about their uh, Facebook, Johnny. Go ahead. Now, well, I mean, it, it's just like if you if you listen to the testimonies and you see all the reviews and stuff, like you see like they got, they have like, no no likes like there's one comment one like no nothing um i want to share my experience with you guys i'm working here from last six months i don't know it just seems not a lot of traffic it's not a lot of traffic and like yet they're still running like yeah you can call them yeah you can call them I, i suggest everybody to not call them i think what we should do is uh they have their address here somewhere if we have any connections in new delhi and don't go cra- listen. If you're going to call them, don't start asking questions about Jeffrey Epstein. I'm sure the FBI or somebody's contacted, or a couple people have gone rogue. But just see if they're an existing business, because it's very weird to me that you have a company that bought a 77 million dollar house, or just used it as a front for Jeffrey Epstein, whatever the case may be. But here they are, and they got like no power and nothing going on on social media. If you're se- spending 77 million dollars a house. Yeah. Maple Link, no. you should be like blown the fuck the up ha- on Facebook. Has, and- the house has historical fucking like it's it's expe- like only rich motherfuckers can fucking buy that. You yeah, know what I'm saying? it was a boarding school. I think that that property they bought it from a boarding school. I'm gonna look it up real quick. Um, the what the property? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, I think it was once a boarding school. Nine uh, East Seventy First, New York, New York. I think Epstein. And while Johnny's looking it up, I think Epstein purchased it from a boarding school several years ago. And and there was questions about where he gets this money from. That, but the whole thing about Maple Link is is that he's running some some type of business through there, and yet they've never been talked about or looked at, and they're still in business. Go ahead, Johnny. What do you got? All right. It says uh, is a uh, East. 9 East 71st Street, New York, is a single-family home that contains 18,000 square feet and was built in 1910. The Z estimate for this house is $24 million, which has increased 313000 in the last 30 days. Um, so it's actually just a house. So why, the, why, why does Maple Inc. own that house? <laughs> well, I mean, and everybody's... And their, their social media, yeah, nothing, nothing to see. Their, do you want to see their Twitter? You want to see their Twitter? Look at their, tw- their Twitter. How many? Oh, they got. Oh, they got a big following on Twitter. I think. Um, it's very, very confusing. Do you want to see their Instagram? We'll, yeah. we'll pull that up right now. Hold on. So explain. Th- does it make any sense to anybody like that? That this this supposed company that is uh, uh, associated with Jeffrey Epstein. Is not like a thriving company. It's a front, right? It's a we, front. It's, it's a front. A front. But the question is, you know, when you look at the website, you look what's going on, and they're talking about young, you know, getting into college. So they're taking probably sixteen-year-old girls overseas or whatever, or sixteen-year-old boys. That's not the one. Sixteen-year-old uh, boys. Uh, it's just. It's scary. It's scary. It's creepy, it's and it needs to be looked at. It's and we like- have to start paying more attention and eyes on Maple. Inc. We're not saying with definitive, but it's a possibility, yeah. you know, that it could have been used to bring people to the island. Yeah. Another screening process. They have a weird psychological test they on that. Psychological on thing. test. And it's like me overseas.com. They're, they're, they're preying on people's weaknesses. Hey, I know you're from I'm a broken over. family and you ain't got a lot of money, but can you imagine you overseas? Me overseas. Yeah. You can go to school in Canada. You can go me overseas. And then you take a psychological test. Then you start going to the area. You know, it's 
We're not saying anything definitive, but we are saying this. We have noticed that Maple Link has been overlooked, okay? If you have the power to buy a $77 million house, then you have, the, you have the power and the ability to make a serious business out of this and be in the public eye and show the universities. Nico House pointed out they don't show any colleges on their video. They never talk about specific universities. Every once in a while I've heard, you know, Niagara or whatever, but it's not like they're even there. There's no pictures there or anything, John. Yeah, no, they have no pictures. Uh, they're like always like in a, a conference or something. Like they're always like tabling or something. They're never at like at a university or something like that. It's weird. It's weird. Okay. So if you want to find any Maple Link stuff, look up hashtag me overseas. So there's that's how you find it on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Me overseas on Maple Link. So 161 followers, 596 following. It was interesting looking into who was following who. Uh, you see their posts here. And yet this company can afford to buy a freaking million dollar. I don't know how many million dollars it is. We said it. Jeez. Continue as yo pasta. All right, so there it is again. You can see the, the the least amount of traffic. Once again, if there's any connection to New Delhi, if you want to call, that's cool. Don't go asking questions and sounding alarms. We want to see if they're a legit company. Right. We're now. trying to play this like a chess match, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. We're we're trying to make we're trying to find the most information, but um, but not give away. Yeah, too many moves. We don't yeah. want to let them know they're coming. All right, so listen, people are kind of hitting me up, Johnny, here on the Messenger. They're hitting me up on the Twitch. Can you see the Twitch messages real quick? Let me see. Do you have anything to say else about Epstein right now on that one? We got the eyes on you. I think it's good for this subject. Or did you have another piece of material you wanted to uh, to drop? What was that? Sorry. Did you want to talk about anything else with the Epstein thing? Or did you? Is that good for this this segment? I know you had no, something else. No, it's just their Instagram. I couldn't I couldn't find their Twitter. I was looking for the Twitter. Um, yeah, I just saw you had the Twitter, no? No, it was a different one. Whatever they have, it's very little traffic. There's not a lot of likes. There's not a lot of shares. We just Twitter. want to put some eyes on Maple Link. Oh, no, I got their Twitter. You got the Twitter. Here's the Twitter, real me, quick. Me overseas. Me overseas. Me. We just want to put the eyes on there. Look, zero following, one follower. Joined April 2015. Hey, Johnny. A seventy-seven million dollar house this company bought. Seventy-seven million. You're telling me they can't have any money to go fucking hire somebody for social media? That's what I'm saying. They didn't want to be seen. So eyes on Maple Inc. I looked up Gates Cambridge scholarship. That's Bill Gates' scholarship. In, of course. Uh, it's interesting. Well, it's interesting because Bill Gates is also a suspect on that plane. The absence of noise is not the presence of peace. It's interesting. Like, why would they? It's they're really it's a lot of listen the Cambridge Gates has been suspected to be on that plane a lot but uh, eyes on Maple Link nothing definitive we haven't got a piece of uh, material and listen go to our YouTube ladies and gentlemen that's where we have a lot of our videos up however we're on Twitch right now we are on Twitter and we are starting to get people giving us messages somebody on Twitter on Twitch wrote something John do you Let's see what it, it said no it says. Watching for Y'all should post another link to this video through YouTube's post function so that people are aware you're live. Seeing you see, seeing at your fan base is largely on YouTube. That's what he was saying. In other words, we have a large fan, fan base on YouTube. How do we get them to come over to Twitch? Yeah. And we're going to start yeah. posting some gonna, stuff up, post, let people know. Post, uh, during the intro, I'm going to have to post uh, the link to the, to the Twitter and to the Twitch. Uh, I will do that. Yeah, it's a good idea. Thank you, Jordan. Yes, and I, I put thank you there too as I well. I think that's Jordan from our, our, yeah, it's Jordan from our YouTube. Yeah, I think Jordan, was Jordan was the one, somebody, a couple people said the hell with these guys go over to Twitch. So we're going to try it tonight. We, we, we're, we're taking our audience's advice and we're over on Twizzitch. And we will be reposting this on YouTube. Uh, and we just want to thank you all for all the support you've been giving us, all the words of encouragement because uh, it's a big system. We're, we're working to take it. You know, infiltrate the system and get get shit working for the the ninety percent again. You know. Yeah, he's talking about was the deep state. <laughs> it's not even just that. It's just all these forces working against you. Listen, it's when you have capitalism, capitalism, unfeathered capitalism. Everything's for sale. And right now, they think that they own our media. They think they've purchased and bought our media. So they're using every tactic they can to censor us, 
to shut us up and to silence us, especially for stuff that belongs in the public domain. Forget about all that chitter chatter about, oh, it's fair use yeah. act. Oh, it's their yeah. property. Oh, no, it's not. The, this is something that should belong in the political, excuse me, on the public domain. If we're picking the leader of the, uh, of the free world next, it should be public domain and everybody should have public access to Absolutely. it. Absolutely. So, Johnny, you got anything before we get out here and get ready for tonight? We're going to have a great debate. We got Tulsi Gabber going against Kamala Harris. We're going on Woo! in 45 minutes, guys. So, tune in back in 45 minutes. Yes. We'll see you then. Combo out. Combo out.